The teacher role in the GTM, in the grammar translation method, GTM. The teacher's role is central and important. The method is teacher-centered, with the teacher as the main source of instruction and guidance. The teacher is responsible for presenting the grammar rules and vocabulary, providing explanations and examples, and correcting errors. The following are some of the characteristics of the teacher's role in the GTM. Presentation of grammar rules and vocabulary. The teacher presents the grammar rules and vocabulary of the target language using a structured and linear approach. The goal is for students to understand and memorize the rules and vocabulary. Explanation and examples. The teacher provides explanations and examples to help students understand the grammar rules and vocabulary. The teacher may use translation exercises to demonstrate the application of the rules and vocabulary. Correction and feedback. The GTM places a strong emphasis on accuracy and the teacher is responsible for correcting errors and providing feedback on students' written compositions and translations. Emphasis on reading and writing. The GTM places a strong emphasis on reading and writing skills, and the teacher is responsible for assigning reading and writing exercises and providing feedback on students' work. Little emphasis on communication. The GTM places little emphasis on communication and speaking skills, and the teacher is not expected to engage in conversation with the students. The role of teaching materials in the GTM. In the grammar translation method, DTM, teaching materials play an important role in the learning process. The method places a strong emphasis on the study of literary texts in the target language, and teaching materials are used to facilitate the study and analysis of these texts. The following are some of the characteristics of teaching materials in the GTM. Literary texts. The DTM focuses on the study of literary texts in the target language, such as poems, novels, and plays. These texts are used as the primary teaching materials, and students are expected to read and analyze them in order to develop their reading comprehension skills. Vocabulary lists. Teaching materials in the GTM often include lists of vocabulary words and phrases, which are essential for understanding and translating the literary texts. Students are expected to memorize these lists and to understand their meanings and usage in context. Translation Exercises The DTM includes a variety of translation exercises, and teaching materials often include passages of literary texts for students to translate. These exercises help students to develop their translation skills and to understand the grammar and syntax of the target language. Grammar Explanations Teaching materials in the GTM often include explanations of grammar rules and syntax, which are essential for understanding and translating the literary texts. These explanations are used to help students understand the structure of the target language. Comprehension Questions After reading a literary text, teaching materials may include comprehension questions to help students reinforce their understanding of the text and to develop their reading comprehension skills. Advantages of the GTM The grammar translation method is one of the oldest language teaching methods, and although it has fallen out of favor in recent years, it still has some advantages. Here are 10 advantages of the grammar translation method. Strong focus on grammar. The grammar translation method places a strong emphasis on grammar, which can be helpful for learners who want to understand the structure of the language they are studying. Development of translation skills. The method's emphasis on translation can help learners develop excellent translation skills, which can be useful in fields such as law, diplomacy, and literature. Familiarity with grammar rules. Learners are already familiar with the grammar rules and vocabulary of their native language, which can help them understand the target language more easily. Cultural awareness. The method's use of literary and non-literary texts exposes learners to the culture and history of the target language, which can broaden their understanding and appreciation of the language and its people. Attention to detail. The method's focus on grammar and vocabulary helps learners pay attention to detail and develop a greater awareness of language nuances. Development of reading and writing skills. 
The grammar translation method can be effective for learners who want to develop reading and writing skills in the target language. Structured approach. The method's deductive approach, in which the teacher explains the grammar rules first, can be helpful for learners who prefer a structured approach to learning. Efficient use of time. The method's use of translation exercises can be efficient in terms of time management as learners can work on their listening, speaking, and writing skills simultaneously. Access to authentic texts. Learners have access to authentic literary and non-literary texts, which can be beneficial for learners who enjoy reading and want to study the language in depth. Preparation for academic study. The grammar translation method can be effective for learners who want to study literature or work in translation, as it provides a solid foundation in grammar and vocabulary. Disadvantages of the GTM Despite its positive points regarding its still-used reading and writing teaching techniques, its efficient use of time and its use of authentic texts, the grammar translation method has often been criticized for many reasons. Here are some disadvantages of the grammar translation method. Limited emphasis on communication. The grammar translation method focuses primarily on reading and writing skills, with limited attention given to speaking and listening skills. This can be a disadvantage for learners who want to use the language to communicate with native speakers. No contextualization. The method often teaches vocabulary and grammar rules in isolation without providing learners with any context. This can lead to a lack of understanding of how the language is used in real-life situations. No focus on pronunciation. The grammar translation method does not place much emphasis on pronunciation, which can result in learners developing poor pronunciation habits that are difficult to correct later on. Limited vocabulary. The method places a strong emphasis on memorizing vocabulary lists, which can result in learners having a limited vocabulary range. This can be a disadvantage for learners who want to communicate effectively in the target language. Monotonous and boring. The method can be monotonous and unengaging for some learners, as it relies heavily on rote learning and translation exercises. This can lead to a lack of motivation and interest in the language. Limited cultural awareness. The method's focus on literary and non-literary texts may not provide learners with a full understanding of the culture and history of the target language. This can limit learners' ability to communicate effectively with native speakers. Limited adaptability. The grammar translation method is not very adaptable to different learning styles or contexts. This can be a disadvantage for learners who prefer a more interactive or immersive approach to language learning. Poor preparation for real-life situations. The method's focus on reading and writing skills may not adequately prepare learners for real-life situations where they need to use the language for communication purposes. Limited motivation. The method's emphasis on memorization and translation exercises can be demotivating for some learners particularly those who are more interested in communicating in the target language. Not suitable for all learners. The grammar translation method may not be suitable for all learners, particularly those who prefer a more communicative or immersive approach to language learning. This can limit the effectiveness of the method for certain learners. That's it. If you're enjoying the content on our channel, Make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notified every time we upload a new video. Also, don't forget to save and share this video with your friends and family. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.